Today, I'm going to tell you about the most amazing machines in the world and what we can do with them. Proteins carry out almost all the important functions in our bodies. They digest our food, contract our muscles, generate energy, and they even keep track of time. Almost everything that happens in biology happens because of proteins. Proteins are simply long strings of building blocks called amino acids. Chemical forces between the amino acids cause these long floppy molecules to fold into unique structures. And it's the shape of these molecules which enables them to carry out the remarkable biological functions. Small proteins are called peptides, and these can also have fascinating properties. Here is an example of an antimicrobial peptide produced by some bacteria so they can kill competing bacteria. It's essentially a small protein that is made by larger protein machines. If we can understand how these machines work, we can use them to make new antimicrobial peptides that have never been seen in nature before. Imagine a car factory that manufactures vehicles with advanced features. Now imagine we don't know how these machines work, but when provided with the right starting material, they make these beautiful automobiles. Wouldn't you want to understand how these machines work so that you can use them to make new cars with the same or improved features? Exactly! In my research, I'm studying the machinery that makes this antimicrobial peptide microcoxin. This long floppy molecule is the starting material and it goes through several modifications so that it can acquire its bioactive function. We're interested in the machine that makes these modifications. We call it the IJN machine. It's made of three proteins working together so that every time they see the amino acid cysteine, they modify it so that the molecule takes on a more rigid structure. I have discovered how IJN recognizes the peptide starting material through a molecular contact point on the left side of that peptide. I have also found that the way these amino acids get modified does not follow a required single path. It's flexible. This means that the IGN machine can be used to make all sorts of alternative peptides with numerous biological properties, perhaps leading to an arsenal of novel antimicrobial peptides with potential medical applications such as antibiotics. Thank you.